Hey guys, Max Soapy Queen here, and welcome back to some more Victory Fire. So, we are almost done with yet another series on the channel. So excited. We are in our Elite Four mode right now, and last episode we finished up the last gym, I believe, and the rest of the story. And then I told you guys I was going to do some training and kind of see what the Elite Four was like. Before we took it on, so the team is updated and obviously looking at the levels, they're pretty high and I'm pretty upset that I had to go that high. Really we're not even on par with the Elite Four to be quite honest because I think the max level for the Elite Four is like 80 something. So Risking being overleveled, I kind of decided to just stop here and not go any farther with training because I think we might be able to finish with just this team here in this level. I don't know. I'm hoping we can. It's going to be really hard because we are so underleveled and you're going to see exactly how underleveled we are once we get further on into the Elite Four and all that stuff. But today's episode is pretty much going to be about trying to get through with the Elite Four and seeing how far we can get and how much these uh, uh, how long these episodes are going to be per Elite Four member whether we should do two Elite Four members in one episode or just one but that's what, what we're going to be finding out today uh, well without further ado I guess we should do this um I believe off screen yes I bought 54 restores 40 hyper potions and 20 revives which now that I'm thinking about it, I might want to get some more revives. I spent pretty much all my money, so I'm pretty broke right now. But I made sure to get a whole bunch of items. I'm going to go ahead and get some full heals as well. I only got five, so I'm going to get five more. Why not? We are st have stacks and stacks and stacks of money, so... Beyond this point, only those trainers who have collected all the gym badges are permitted to enter. Trainer, let us confirm that you have all the gym badges. Trainer, believe in yourself and your Pokemon. Go forth! Alright, so we have all eight gym badges, and we are entering the Elite Four, so we will not be able to leave, and we have to take them all on. So as you can see, this is the champion's room right here, which we are not able to go in because we've got to fight the members of the Elite Four first, which is two rooms over here and two rooms over here. So I decided I want to start on the left side. Um, really, it doesn't matter. We're kind of underleveled for everybody. But I want to start on the left side first, and we might as well just go right into it. Welcome, Challenger. I'm Ebby, an electric-type power user. Haha, <laughs> know why electric-type power is great? Well, when you hit it with sh by- when you get hit by shockwave and you're unable to move, you know how horrible it is to challenge me. Alright, so obviously this is an electric-type Elite Four member. Elite Four Ebby. He has five Pokemon, and he leads with a level 75 Raichu. So obviously, you know right now, we are way under leveled, and now you are seeing why I had to go to the levels that I went, and I could have went to at least 70, but I don't know, you guys probably would have thought that I was going a little overboard by going to 70. Probably would have been like, oh really, 70? So you're gonna make it easy mode like you did with Y2, right? No, I didn't want to do that because I knew that's what you guys would say. So I just went to this level thinking, well, maybe we should be okay. Maybe we can do it. Of course, then we end up having... Ooh, good. High-leveled Elite Four members. So if I end up dying and we don't get through it the first time, and I have to do it again after I've leveled up a bunch more, then don't blame me. That'll just be one extra episode that we have to do. So Raichu goes down, and now I guess it's going to be time for us to send out old Garchomp here, who is level 72, because it's our ground type, and we need something to take on these electric type Pokemon. So I have Earthquake, and I'm not afraid to use it. Jolteon is going to go for a double team, hoping that I'm going to miss an Earthquake. 
I don't know how I'm gonna miss an earthquake when all I'm doing is shaking the ground, so how could I possibly miss you, Jokion? Hoping this is a one-shot, and it does. Garchomp is obviously going to be the most high level on the team, because if you'll remember in the last episode, whenever it evolved, it like shot up a million levels for some reason, I don't know why. But it did, and I had to work with what I had, so I didn't go too high. But the Intimidate is probably going to make this Earthquake not kill this Luxury. Because that's going to be an attack drop and we should be at negative one. Yeah. So he's probably going to heal up now. Thunderbolt doesn't affect me. Boy. So... I'm just going to go for an Earthquake again because obviously Luxury is going to heal up. But see, you're risking the crit there and I did get the crit. So... Electros is next, so this one I'm actually going to switch out because there's nothing I can do. It has Levitate, so I can't hit Earthquake on it. And this thing pretty much has no weaknesses, which is why I hate it. Hate, hate, hate Electros. My least favorite Pokemon. But I am going to Toxic it with Arbok. If I can Toxic it. Jeez, I missed a Toxic. Luckily, he's missing all of his Zap Cannons, though, because I think... The accuracy on Zapkin is like, what, 30? So I'm gonna stay in here and just go for the Sludge Bomb. Eventually the toxic damage is going to hurt. Zapkin is probably gonna kill me though because I think it's like base damage 120 or 150 or something like that. But we are paralyzed though. And I think I'm gonna actually risk it here and go for the Facade because he missed his Zap Cannon and Facade should do double damage because we are paralyzed. With the Toxic, this thing is going to go down. Goodbye, Electros. Thanks for coming, buddy. Next, a Magnezone. So we are going to go... Oh, shoot. I'm going to stay in with Arbok, actually. And I'm going to use one of my revives on Victini. And then I'm going to use a Hyper Potion on Victini. Because once this thing hits a Zap Cannon, Arbok will go down. But... We can just bring up Victini and go for the flamethrower. And luckily this thing does not have sturdy. If it does, then he's probably gonna heal up again. But we didn't take it out. Wow. Okay, so he's in lock on as well, so that's gonna be bad for us. Maybe the citrus berry will make it where yeah, he's not gonna heal because of the citrus berry, so this will take up the magnezone, and I'm actually happy about that because the zap cannon would have definitely hit us since he used lock on. Very happy about that. And we have defeated Elite Four Ebby. So we might do another one in this episode. Unexpected. You didn't get affected by my power. You showed me pure power. Challenger. Good. Go on. Remember, your goal is to beat the champion. I know, buddy. I know what my goal is. Alright, so we are going to have to use a revive because unfortunately Arbok did die. And we're going to go for some Hyper Potions because we are looking a little bit sore. Um, and also, Spirit Tomb is paralyzed, so I'm going to use some of those full heals that I decided to buy. Good thing I did. And we're going to go to the next room and just go on and fight this Elite Four member. Cyacene? <laughs> I'm Cyacene. I'm a fighting tech Pokemon trainer. You're here to challenge us? Funny! Let's see if you can pass me. Alright, so this is Cyacene, who looks strangely familiar. She looks exactly like, um, Claire. But she is a fighting type user. So Victini is going to do well here with its psychic type attack. And this, well, I was going to say this would kill the Toxicroak, but he decided to use Protect. Because this is four times super effective, and I don't know why you bothered to protect just to make me use a psychic because you know you're going down, buddy. Lucario, I'm going to stay out because I can use a flamethrower on it, and that will do pretty much major damage to Lucario. Ooh, Earthquake though, don't think we're going to live that from a level 78 Lucario. Uh, wow, we actually did. We healed him with 11 HP. HP, wow. Victini is showing why it was a good thing to put it on the team and take out Magmortar. 
Although I wasn't happy about doing it. I went ahead and did it anyway. Alright, Polyrath is going to be next, so we're not going to be able to do anything really to this Polyrath if it does hit us with a water type move. So I'm going to go into Sceptile here. I'm going to go for the Leaf Blade. Expecting him to hit me with a, with a move the way so that we can use Giga Drain next time. But Leaf Blade is going to be very, very effective. Ooh, Ice Punch. Yeah, that's probably going to hurt Sceptile really bad. Very bad, actually. Luckily, we outspeed. So, we are going to Giga Drain and hopefully take out the Polyrath and get some nice um, HP to help us get back up to where we should be. And down goes Polyrath. Next is Scrafty. So, I'm going to go into Spirit Tomb because we have Brick Break on it and I know that Scrafty is part dark type as well as fighting type, so I think I will just use Brick Break since I can't use Psychic on it. Oh crap. I just said I can't use Psychic and I went out and used it. I am so dumb. But luckily this Scrafty can't do anything to us. Hopefully, I'm guessing all it knows is um, Faint Attack for us, so we should be pretty good here. Staying in with Spear Tomb, it will take a lot longer because of Brick Break not being stab on us, but it is super effective, so I am planning on getting a 3-hit KO. Taunt, you can taunt all you want, Scrafty, but I don't have Hypnosis anymore, so I'm not going to try to hit you with it. But I am almost going to take you out with that. Um, We don't really need to heal anyone, so I'm just going to go ahead and Brick Break once again. Because Scrafty's wanting to take a long time here. They're just using all of their healing items right now in the Scrafty. But we got the crit again. Crit's helping us out once again. And down goes Scrafty. Alright, next is a hit on top. So I'll just stay in. Because I don't think he can really hit me anyway. And we go for a Psychic. Because we have Psychic on Spiritomb as well. I actually forgot that I taught it that. So... It's good that I have it on here, although it isn't stab as well. It still won't do very much damage, but it'll do just enough damage to where we can take it out in about three hits. As long as she does not use a hyper potion or a full restore. I'm hoping she won't because she used it on, um, never mind. I was hoping she wouldn't because she used it on Scrafty, but whatevs. It's just going to take us that much longer to take out this stupid hit on top because it can't hit us. So it's got like plus five or six attack already. I don't know why she stayed out with it, but whatever. And that's going to do it for Elite Four. Scythene? Scythene? I guess that's her name. Hi, Lost. That's it. I lost. I know I lost. Now I can't see anymore. Just continue your challenge. I believe I'm probably going to do that because there's not really very much more to go and I think we should just go ahead and do another one. This might end up being a little bit longer of an episode but why not go ahead and try to get all the Elite Four members done so that in the next episode we can do the champion and hopefully finish up the game. Um, I haven't been keeping track with how long this has been going on, but I'm sure it hasn't been too long. I'm Zack. I'm one of the Elite Four. I can control my mystery power by with my psychic ability. No more speaking, kid. Let's just start. Alright, so now we have Zack, the psychic type Elite Four member to deal with. Um, I don't have too much for psychic types. I know I have, um, Spirit Tomb, but... Pretty much he's the only one, so I'm just going to go right for a flamethrower because if Bayonet does hit me with anything, it's probably going to take me out anyway. So I might as well try to get as much damage off as I can, plus Bayonet is pretty much fragile and just like a glass cannon. It can hit pretty hard, as you can see, with the crit, but it can't take too much damage. Alright Spear Tomb, this is all you buddy. The burn is going to probably put it into healing range, 
So I'm expecting her to heal this time around. And she does. Go for the full restore, which I'm okay with. That Shadow Ball did do a lot to us, though. Cockagrigus is the next. Um, it got the Intimidate, which to me really doesn't mean too much. Wow, that did not do very much as I thought it would. I forgot we have Faint Attack as well. It did get the Special Defense drop, so that's not good. But I'm going to heal up. And I'm going to go for a Faint Attack and see how much that does. That might do a little bit more. Yeah, that does a lot more. So I'm hoping that she's going to heal. Or not. But I am going to use Faint Attack again. Maybe this will mean that um, they are all out of healing items. Did I just say he, he, she, she? I think I said she. I think we're fighting a he. That's bad, because I don't even remember. Alright, Gengar is next. Um, I'm going to go with the Shadow Ball of my own Gengar. Yeah, that's going to do a lot to you. And you just wasted your turn willow wisping me, because I'm just going to use a full restore after my turn is over and after you're dead. So goodbye. Oh wow, you did not die. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna give you some credit there, Gengar. You might not have wasted your turn. Because you did that, so huh. Good for you, buddy. Hopefully you don't do nothing stupid though, like okay, good. You can hit me with Shadow Ball all you want. And another Will O Wisp. Seriously, stop hitting Will O Wisp on me. I'm just gonna use a full restore. As Spear Tomb goes to level 69. And Chandelure is next. Well, since Spear Tomb is looking a little bit hurt, we're gonna let Lapras take out this Chandelure. Because a Surf should one shot. We do have. Thunderbolt as well, but I don't think we'll be needing it. Flamethrower is going to do a decent amount of damage, but not enough to kill me. So I'm going to hope this takes out the Chandelier. If not, that is perfectly okay, because this one will. As you're going to miss your Will-O-Wisp, about time. You've gotten two of them off on me, so it's about time that you miss. And I think that was the last Pokemon. Nope, one more. A spirit tomb of his own. Alright, I'm just gonna stay out with uh, Lapras here, and we're just gonna go for the surf. I could have went back into my own spirit tomb, but Lapras' stab surf is gonna do a bunch of damage with a crit. Wow, you know Silverwind. I'm guessing when my spirit tomb gets up to level 77, I should be able to learn Silverwind too. And you hit a hypnosis. You know what? Catch the full restore Lapras, as he's gonna do the same. So you can just go ahead and keep surfing Lapras, I believe in you. <sighs> okay, he's not gonna go and heal, which is good. Oh man, I was level 77. I should not have done that. You know what, Arbok? You can come out and you can bite and kill this thing for the win because you deserve it after sacrificing yourself in the last last or the elite four member before that I don't know anyway we did it my psychic ability failed to control the battle I've done my job child now go on I've foreseen your winning all right well maybe we'll have so much trouble then because he has seen us winning this thing so I'm gonna use a revive on Lapras and Victini and we are going to slip some hyper potions to everybody else and we are going to give a full restore to Spirit Tomb because he's looking a little burnt. Alright now we are going to take on the last Elite Four member and then we will end the episode off. Welcome to the League! I've seen your strength before so there's no doubt that you have the ability to defeat me. But still, I would like to try my best to show you the power of ground-type Pokemon. Oh girl, you are going down! I have got two Pokemon that are super effective against your ground types. Maybe three, because I think ground is super effective against ground, isn't it? 
Alright, Big TV. Ooh. My goodness. I would like you to sacrifice yourself one more time for us again, please. I do not know why I'm so tired today. Or not get a critical hit and kill the slans. Sand slash. Thank you, Big Teeny. You're putting in work. Okay, Needle Queen. Uh, what a switch into Lapras. I don't know why I'm so tired today. I got up this morning at my regular time. I was able to go back to sleep and get up again and feel fully refreshed and okay. I mean, I was awake. I got enough sleep last night. We went to bed early. And I drank two cups of coffee this morning. So I don't know how I'm not fully awake. But I'm not. Look at you, Lapras. You getting some critical hits too? I'm a, I'm so proud of you. Duck Trio, Duck Trio, Duck Trio. I believe Duck Trio can learn Rock Slide though, so this might not have been a good idea. Yawn. Okay, Duck Trio. You can use Yawn all you want. I have plenty of full restores in my bag. You're gonna heal. So I'm gonna surf one more time and I'm gonna heal myself. And we're out of surfs, of course we are. <sighs> Alright, well I'll use Ice Beam here. And then I'll switch Lapras out since we are going to um, need to use a Max Elixir on our surfs. And I'll go back into uh, Sceptile here because Leaf Blade and Giga Drain should do the work on Tyranitar as well. Look at this! Level 78 Tyranitar. Very nice. Alright, so I'm gonna say that this isn't gonna do too much to me. Wow, I did a whole bunch. Huh. I'm gonna go ahead and risk the uh, Leaf Blade. You know what? Never mind. He's got a berry. I was gonna say another Leaf Blade would kill this thing, but with the berry it will not. It'll leave it in the red. So why not go ahead and just use Giga Drain and get all of our energy back while taking out Tyranitar in the same breath. So thank you Septile for that. Garchomp is next. You know what? I'm just going to stay out because I have Dragon Claw. And I'm pretty sure this Dragon Claw is going to destroy you Garchomp. Although it's not stabbed because we're not Mega yet, it is going to do a bunch of damage. And it doesn't look like you have anything to do to me, so I'm going to die because of Sandstorm. You know what? You know what? We've had our fun. But I think now it's time for you to die. Outrage, buddy. You're you're not dead? Are you serious? Don't you D-dance. Don't you D-dance on me. And don't you use a full restore. Garchomp. Come on, Garchomp. No, you cannot be confused. I need you to outrage, like, right now. <sighs> this is why I super speed, because I get so upset. You have a dragon dance off. Why are you not... <sighs> Alright, Lapras. Come on out for a second. I need you to ice beam this thing. Don't die to Earthquake. Thank you. Oh my gosh. If you would have died to Earthquake, I don't know what I would have done. Sorry for that. Got a little frustrated. But that is going to do it for the last Elite Four member. You did well, just as I thought. I pretty much given up on all the accents that I had for them. Congratulations! You defeated us all. Now go back to the central ground and try your best to beat the champion. Not before I heal up first. I'm going to use a Hyper Potion on Lapras. Two hyper potions on Lapras and a um, max elixir as well because you lost all of your surfs. And I'm going to use a revive on Sceptile and Garchomp and some more hyper potions because you guys did a lot of work in this episode and I'm very proud of you. Alright, we're going to go ahead and put Spirit Tomb down here though. Icara level and it earned it. So you're going down to the bottom. But that looks like it's going to be all for us guys. We are going to end the episode off here. In the next episode though, we're going to be taking on the Elite Four. Well, not the Elite Four, but the champion of the Elite Four. 
and hope hopefully finishing off Pokemon Victory Fire. Now I still haven't decided if I want to do after game of this or not because I'm so ready to move on and get the rest of those LPs done that we've been working on for like two years. You know what I'm talking about. Um, so we really need to do those and kind of push away from these old ones so that we can start a new series because I have a bunch of thoughts in my head and a bunch of things that I would like to start and I would like to do but I'm not able to and I want to so I don't know my brain is just all jumbled right now but I am so ready to get these out of the way and get them done that we, we can get started with something else so I'm, I'm still undecided whether we want to do after game or not um I haven't looked too much into it but I believe there is a little bit of after game not too much and it's just basically battling a bunch of trainers that we've already battled before, so, eh, we probably won't. But, um, you guys know my stance on after game. I, I really don't tend to do it a lot. One, because I wasn't able to. These are hacked games, and I'm not able to save them. But this one I am, so I could do it again if I wanted to, but it's just... I don't know. I will decide that later. But for now, I'm going to end the episode off here. And then we will continue on next time. So I will see you guys in the next episode of Pokemon Victory Fire.